Back in the 80s, Austin lawyer Derek Howard bought a photo of a kid selling newspapers on the drag in the 70s. He knew nothing about the kid until recently when it turned out a current client was the kid. Howard arranged a reunion between Byron Mansion and Alan Pogue, the photographer who took the photo, and long had wondered what happened to the kid. Oh, wow. This is here. How's it going, sir? Good to see you, too. So, oh, wow. this is my daughter, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Okay, now you two look at each other and lie about how no one's changed a bit. <laughs> no. You remember shooting the picture? Oh, yes, yes. Because yeah. uh, the, the great thing was he had so much energy and enthusiasm and a great right. smile. He was a terrific seller of the rack. I mean, he could sell anything. He has an infectious energy. I took about eight pictures of him. I've got the prints with me. I'll pull them out. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. oh man. Unbelievable. Oh. Yeah. I gotta buy one of these. I want to. I want to frame this thing. That is yeah. amazing. And so yeah. all these years, I've just had this little portion. And that was a sad thing that you know, just one day he vanished. He wasn't there anymore. You know. What happened? The story behind why he stopped showing up way back then involved Hippie Hollow and a ten-year-old boy's ill-fated attempt to make a love connection with an older woman. Oh, uh, there was a girl that used to sell cookies and one of those little. One of those little wagons, she sold like mm -hmm. cookies and donuts, and I was in love with her, you know. And she was like a college girl, you know. And so uh, she told me she was going out to Hippie Hollow. Okay. And I said, uh, you know, and the next day I had told Alan, I said, I'm gonna, uh, how do you get out there? And I, and I hitched. I, I thought it was like, you know, pretty close. When I got out there, I uh, started going around to those tents, and I started, uh, people started giving me a little bit of that, that homemade wine. And next thing I know, uh, some, I, I woke, when I came to, uh, a cop was pulling me out of the car. And he's like, hey, you know, get, uh, you, you know, and I looked up and I was at the police station on East 7th Street. <laughs> and did you ever find that girl out there? No, never found the girl. <laughs> so how do we put this delicately? Nothing happened out there that made it worthwhile. <laughs> 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 I just got shipped back to Chicago about a, about a couple of weeks after that. And then, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yay, okay. Keith. All right. Thank you. He just hit this pose you can see where his legs are crossed because he's walking that's know, what I saw yes those yeah, shoes he's, he's walking in a sort of a different way you know he's got uh, attitude he's got a lot of attitude great smile <laughs> I mean you know if anybody could sell the rag he's the one 